Are you worried about parasites in your quail and whether if they have parasites, are they going to be able to pass them to the eggs? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video again. My name is Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And like I said, the topic of this video is talking about parasites in your quail, whether they can be passed to your eggs or not. This topic came up actually a question asked in my weekly live broadcast last week, and uh, I, I'd never thought about that before. I had to look at that, had to research it a little bit, never even considered it. I don't have any problems with parasites in my quail. If you keep them in raised cages like this off the ground, chances of parasites are pretty, pretty slim. But it could happen. They, they are susceptible to parasites just like any other animal out there. So the, the main parasite you're going to be looking at is probably some kind of worm, whether it be a round worm, a tape, tapeworms. Tapeworms probably pretty unlikely. There's several different types of worms that poultry can get. Your quail not exclude. I mean, they can get it just the same as chickens can, just the same as your dog can or whatever. They can get those worms. It's probably not a huge risk. It's probably not something you have to worry about on a regular basis. Let me just get that out of the way to begin with. But if your birds do end up contracting a parasite like a worm of some kind, the question is, can that be passed to the egg? So when you're eating the eggs, can you pick up those parasites from your birds? Okay, this is kind of, the short answer is, Yes, they can be passed to the egg, but it's a little bit more complex than that. Uh, here's why I say that. It's highly unlikely and very, very rare that worms are gonna end up in the eggs of your birds, but it could happen. It does happen on occasion because the worms primarily, they live in the intestinal tract of your birds, but they are expelled through their excretions, you know, their, their uh, manure, basically. They're expelled in their droppings um, and that's how, that's how it's usually transmitted between bird to bird is because of infected droppings. So in the process of those, egg, those worms moving through their, their cycle, their, the bird's you know, intestinal tract or whatever, it's possible that they could get entangled in the egg during the development and get trapped in that and then therefore get entrapped in the egg when the shell is placed around the egg as it moves through the bird and gets ready to lay it. It could happen. It, it has happened before. There have been cases of that occurring, but it's very, very rare and highly unlikely, even if your birds do have worms, that they're gonna end up in the eggs of the birds themselves. Now, the flip side of that too is that if you're eating the eggs and they do have worms in them, chances are you're probably cooking the eggs and if you're cooking the eggs, you're killing any parasites that are in there anyway. So it's not usually a big concern. It's kind of gross to think about, uh, but it's not a big concern. The other thing about that too is that if they do have worms inside the egg, it just it doesn't take much to be able to see those and in fact pretty much any of the worms that your birds could carry are big enough that you could see them with your naked eye so if you crack an egg you put it in a pan and you look at it and you see a worm in there you know you're probably going to scrape it out and not eat it but it's not a big concern that you're going to contract a parasite through that uh, because like i said if you're cooking it, it it's not going to be a live parasite that you would be able to contract anyway um so you know there's that anyway Again, the point is, it's not a big concern. You don't really need to worry about it for two reasons. One, it's unlikely that your birds are gonna get worms, uh, especially if you have them in raised hutches like this and not in contact with the ground. If you do have them in contact with the ground, there is a chance they could get worms. Chances are you would notice something and you would know that your birds had parasites. Um, you know, if it gets to a point where those parasites are really impacting the bird's health, then, then you're not gonna get many eggs laying out of them because they're gonna be stressed out. They're probably gonna be losing weight, lethargic, you know, a lot of those kinds of things going on anyway. Um, so I, I don't think it's something that you really need to be concerned with. Um, but it did come up and I didn't have an answer for it, so I had to look into it. Um, I did not find any evidence of any other kind of parasite being transmitted in the eggs of birds. None of that came up. Um, another one would be coccidiosis. That's a parasite that is pretty common, can be pretty common, I guess, in, uh, in birds. Um, most, a lot of animals actually, not just birds. But, you know, if you have that, chances are you're going to be losing some young birds. They're not going to make it to adulthood to egg laying anyway. 
um, there's going to be other problems with it. And I never found any any evidence, uh, anything documented at all that said that that could be passed to the egg of the bird itself. And I believe that is a species specific parasite anyway. So even if it was, the, the, the coccidiosis that affects your birds would not affect you as a person eating the eggs of those birds or the meat for that matter. Um, that kind of brings up another point too. If your birds have worms, is the meat okay to eat? Yeah, it is. I mean, the, the, the worms don't live in the meat of the bird. They pretty much, they live in the intestinal tracts and those kinds of things. So, you know, just inspect your meat. Again, if you're cooking it all the way through, you don't have to worry about it anyway. You know, it, it, this is kind of gross to think about, but chances are you've eaten plenty of parasites and uh, plenty of worms and, and all kinds of different bugs in your lifetime anyway, you just didn't know it. Um, it's just hidden in the meat or hidden in the, the foods that you eat, you know, but it's all been processed. It's, it's perfectly safe, it's perfectly healthy, it's just natural. Try not to think about it too much because it is kind of gross to consider. Uh, but it's not a big concern if your birds do get parasites that you're gonna have to worry about it in either their eggs or the meat. Just cook them properly and you're gonna be fine. So, pretty short answer once I researched it and looked it up. Hopefully this gave you the information you were looking for if you were concerned about it too. Um, Happy New Year. This is New Year Day. Um, beautiful weather out here. We came off of a cold front last week, negative 10 degrees, and now we were up to like 70 degrees by the end of the week. Just unseasonably warm here. It feels like spring. I took advantage of that yesterday, processed this entire hutch of birds, moved all my birds from that hutch over there over to this one. I know you can't even see it on camera, but if you guys follow my channel, you know I've got two hutches right here. Moved all the birds out of that one, moved them over to this hutch, uh, cleaned it out first, uh, made it nice and clean so you can hear. Let me bring you in close, we'll take a look. It looks nice and clean and the birds are perfectly happy. Let me bring you in closer, we'll take a look real quick. All right, I don't know how well this is showing up on camera, but you can see we've got nice clean sand here. We've got a little bit, I mean, they've dirtied it up a little bit since yesterday but I had it all cleaned out for them. They are loving it, real nice. Um, my other hutch got wet inside. Somehow the rain got in there, the sandbox got all wet and it was nasty and they needed to be, it needed to be cleaned out, but I needed to process this hutch anyway. So I just did it this way. Process this hutch, cleaned the sandbox out, moved the birds over here, got the heated watering system up for when it does get cold again and uh, we're good to go. Well, that should significantly cut my food bill. I processed probably half the birds I had um, I meant to get that done a lot earlier, but I was just, first of all, I was kind of lazy, didn't get it done. Secondly, it was Christmas, it was, well, Thanksgiving first, then Christmas, and our fridge was full. I didn't have any room in the fridge to, to put the meat to rest. Um, if you were curious about that, I've got videos I've shot on resting meat before, but basically I just put it in the fridge, put, you know, once I process the birds, clean them off real good, put them in a bowl, cover it with a paper towel. I don't put any water in there. I like to dry age my meat, stick them in the refrigerator and you know, for about two days until rigor mortis has left the meat until it's no longer stiff. And then you can process, you know, package it up, freeze it, however you want to do it. I usually zip, um, um, shrink, uh, not shrink, uh, vacuum seal. There we go. Put them in vacuum sealed bags, about five or six to a bag, probably about six to eight actually to a bag enough that we would, you know, pull one out and have that for dinner that night. Um, feeding four people. We've got four people in the house now. And uh, anyway, I'm kind of rambling. This is not the point of this video here, but I have mentioned, you know, that before and people have asked, well, what about resting? What do you mean by resting the meat? So I thought I would explain that just a little bit further. So got my feed bill cut down a little bit. I uh, got these birds, got plenty in here. Um, I'm getting about six to eight eggs a day out of these birds. So that's plenty to start back up in the spring. Um, everything's going pretty good right now. Still working on getting rabbits bred. The rabbits aren't wanting to breed right now, but I think as the days start getting a little bit longer, they'll be a little bit more um, open to uh, breeding. It's just the does. The does are the ones that are a little bit stubborn right now. But I've got videos, I've been shooting on that, trying to get her to breed. Once I get her successfully bred, I'll get those videos posted. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I gave you the information you were looking for. Didn't ramble too long there at the end. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. As always, God bless.